Today we're going to talk about energy. I need to be in New York on Monday. And what affects energy? Now when your energy is high, no one really cares, right? We're feeling good. But when your energy is low, we start wondering, what caused that? One of the things, sleep. I feel tired. You don't get enough sleep, you're going to have low energy. You get enough sleep and you feel good. Why? Well, we have different types of sleep. One is called REM sleep, R-E-M, which also stands for a band. Now said too much. And it stands for rapid eye movement. So if you get enough good REM sleep, you get brain restoration, brain repair, but the non-REM sleep is also important. You get body repair and body restoration. A lot of people are telling me they're having trouble falling asleep nowadays. Experts will tell you it's because we have too many screens. So please folks, turn off the screens at night. How much sleep do you actually need? The experts will say somewhere between six and eight hours. I would agree with that. Good sleep habits also make other good habits, like good exercise habits and good eating habits. So make sure you get a lot of good sleep. We have an ebook about sleep at purevitaminclub.com, so check that out. It will be in the description. I put my glasses on for effect so that I could take them off and do this because it makes it a stronger point. Because now I'm going to talk about macronutrients. Macronutrients, also known as carbohydrates, fats, and protein, they affect energy too. Let's start with carbohydrates, also known as sugar. Now, here's the problem. Sugar will raise your energy really fast. Sugar! Sugar! Even complex carbohydrates, things like grains, will raise it, but then at some point, they will come down. It's a really fast burn. So, in effect, Carbohydrates are not your best form of energy. Experts will tell you that carbohydrates are your best form of energy. That's why today I'm going to show you the best carbs to drop a dress size and get your energy back. I disagree. Think of kids at a birthday party. At first, they're all running around because they're sugared up. But then they get surly and nasty and mean, and then they fall asleep. Protein is a very important macronutrient. We need it because it's the building block of every cell in your body. So you need protein. You see the lady in the restaurant ordering the egg white omelet? Yeah, she's probably getting too much protein. Some of that will turn into a sugar. Now I'm holding my glasses with both hands because I'm gonna make a really strong point here. Fat, that's the macronutrient that will give you the most even energy. I always say this, think of a fireplace burning wood. If you have nice thick wood in there, it will burn long, slow, and even, giving you a lot of good energy from that fireplace. If you put, let's say, a piece of cardboard in there, that's like putting protein in. It's going to burn, but it's going to burn pretty quickly. Now, if you throw some newspaper in, that's like sugar. It's going to flash really fast and then go down to nothing. Fat will give you the best slow, long burn energy of the three macronutrients. Let's talk about vitamin B12. Most people think that taking B12 will give you automatic energy. I feel like I got a B12 shot. I'm back, baby! I'm back! That's simply not true. If you're deficient in B12, you could have low energy. You can even have certain types of anemia and other conditions. In the 1970s, there was something known as the Framingham Offspring Study. Not to be confused with the original Framingham Study or the band The Offspring. My friend's got this was a study that showed that 9% of people were deficient in vitamin B12. They also found that 39% of the people in the study were in the low normal range, which according to Tufts University can cause some of the same problems that you find when people are actually deficient in vitamin B12. You have breakfast with the king. Get king vitamin cereal. I did it. So what do we do? Some foods are fortified with vitamins. You ever see cereals? They'll have nine essential vitamins and iron. Nine? There are 13 essential vitamins. What do they do? Some kind of Sophie's Choice? Hmm, let's leave out the B6. Hmm, what's that all about? Can you believe they actually spray vitamins on your food? They're literally spraying vitamins on your food. Yuck. Here's the crazy part. Research is now showing that people who are deficient really don't get enough from meat, poultry, and fish. 
it just doesn't work for everyone. Here's the cool part. Research shows that supplementation with B12 can reduce the percentage of people in the danger zone by more than half. Half. More than half. But what kind of supplementation? You can take B12 shots. Ouch. Very effective, but that can get a little messy. Not very convenient. And then there's pills that you swallow. Well, of course, if you take a pill, you want to swallow it. It can be affected by stomach acid, and some people just don't absorb it through their large intestine. The best form? Sublingual. Sublingual tablets. They dissolve right into your tongue and they go right into your bloodstream. Lots of great free information. If you just follow my podcast, Fitness Confidential, check me out on Twitter. Go to VinnyTartaries.com and get more of these videos from PureVitaminClub.com.